Now moving on to taking off the quantity or quantity takeoff depending on the type of trade that you're running um, you may have different items so um, this example is a trade related to electrical um, jobs but um, you can have different cost categories and different types of items so um, what is most common in almost all the trades is a square meter of area let's say you're working in a flooring company and you want to know how many square meter of area is going to be contracted um, for surface preparation flooring epoxy flooring or even concreting on a floor <coughs> um, you must consider the drawing scale on this example there is no specification is already said but on most of the drawings somewhere on the plan you can find the scale of the drawing and you can set it up in here either manually and you can also select um, the common scales as well 1 to 200 1 to 100 depending on the size of the project for now I'm just leaving it as it is because it's already set up um, apply to this drawing and I'm going to click on this plus button then based on the type of materials that you define in the catalog if you haven't defined an item you can actually add your own items you have all sort of categories catalog in here if you want to add the number of hours days and so on for the labor that you reckon your company would take to complete the project you can add that in here as well if you're using a specific type of material um, you would select that as here just name it um, let's say for now I'm gonna put concrete we're gonna um, pour concrete for slab and the unit of measurement is normally square meter or cubic meter depending on how you um, quote I'm just putting a square meter and for each square meter of concrete let's say um, a nominal company will charge three hundred dollars and um, yeah, let's save it for now it's going to create a new item once it's selected we're going to add that to drawing and now it's going to give us the ability to draw from where to where we want to pour the concrete slab so I'm just clicking on the corners where the concrete is going to be poured on the last um, you can see that we have 242.99 square meter which is already added in here as well and um, that's just the material that we're going to use so that was one example of an item if you have some specific um, other items that are being counted in a different unit of measurement let's say uh, you're going to put um, 10 electric plugs in this area you can actually add that here as well with the same approach but instead of selecting the unit of measurement on a square meter you would select that as um, each so let's say I'm gonna add plugs or plugins and now units of measurement will be each um, you have all sort of other units as well you put the item cost and start counting basically I'm gonna cancel that for now so that was the quantity takeoff on Proco I can also move on to the estimating and see that you have all sort of um, availability in here that you can put into your tender in the next session in the next lesson we're going to modify the code and finalize it in order to be ready to be sent to the client